Hey guys, what's up? Christian here back at you with a brand new DIY video. It's my first time doing a DIY on Sneaker Talk, so thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to iron on patches onto your clothing and onto your sneakers. Now this will be my first time trying the method on sneakers, so hopefully all goes well. But in the past I have ironed on um, patches to other pieces like jackets, like this bomber jacket I have up on screen. And I've also done it to other jackets like my winter jacket here, which has a Supreme patch on one side and a GTR patch on the other. I like to call this jacket the Supreme by GTR. What we're doing today is we're going to be ironing on a Halo Reach patch onto the side of my um, like military olive green hoodie I bought from H&M. And for the sneakers, we're going to try ironing on these black Comme des Garcons heart patches to my Converse Chuck Taylor 2 first string marble pack. And we're also going to swap the laces out for white ones, which came with my other Converse um, because I'm not a huge fan of these laces that are on these sneakers. Shout out to Converse for giving me this pair. I really love you guys. Thank you for that. All right, so we moved over to the guest bedroom in my house because that's where we keep the ironing board. So what you're going to need is an ironing board, ironing table, whatever you want to call it. You're going to need an iron. You're going to set that to your like near highest setting. You're going to want to have your garment that you're going to be ironing your patch onto. And you want to lay it flat where you're going to be ironing on the uh, patch, of course. Now, if you're ironing it onto something like a sleeve, like I am, which is probably where you're going to be ironing most of your patches onto, if it's not going to be the chest portion, um, you're going to want to have something that will allow your ironing surface to be flat. So in this case, I'm going to be using this tablet case here. I would also recommend like a small hardcover book, something along the lines of that. Before you do your iron on patch, you're going to want to make sure you know the exact location you're going to be putting your piece. Um, so of course, try the item on, and if you know you're going to be doing the patch in a specific location and you're like going to commit to it, you might want to use something like acrylic paint or a marker. You can mark it where you're going to be putting your patch on, that way you don't screw it up. We're going to help line it up straight down the middle of the sleeve with this little perpendicular line here that's on the hoodie that like connects the seams of the shoulder, so right here. And we're just going to go down from there, work our way down. So now that I have the location where I'm going to put my patch, Let's just move it down right here, place it on top. You're going to want to get a blank piece of paper. So I have a piece of paper here. You're going to put it right on top of the patch. Then you're going to take your iron and you're literally going to press down on the patch for about 30 seconds to 40 seconds. So let's just do that. While you're pushing down on the iron on patch, you want to make sure that you like melt down the adhesive on the other side of the patch on all corners everywhere on the patch so that there's no loose points for it to suddenly like rip or fall off. So just go around the edges of it, push down in the middle, etc, etc. All right, so that's a good amount of time. Let's get rid of the paper now and just see how it looks. So here's what it looks like. As you can see, it looks like it is pretty much embossed inside of the material of the sweater right here. And an easy way to tell if you did a good job along the edges is to, of course, go under your jacket, under your shirt, and you can basically feel if uh, you did a good job. Now, before you actually touch under the garment, make sure that your patch is cooled down. Mine's a little bit hot, but it's okay. I don't mind the heat, it's not too, too hot. But see, looks like it's a pretty good job there. Not sticking out when you push up on it. Here looks pretty good as well. I can probably push down a little bit more on this corner, so I'm gonna go over that once more just to be safe. All right, so all I'm gonna do is just put the paper back on top of the garment. Remember where I was gonna iron down. Hold it there for about 15, 20 seconds to make sure it's a good job. Always remember to take the plug out of the wall for your iron. You do not want to accidentally burn down your house. All right, so here's what the hoodie looks like on me. It's a nice hoodie. This is a side without a patch. And this is the side with the patch. So, I think I did a pretty good job. What do you think? All right, now that we've done it on clothing, let's try it on on sneakers because, hey, the channel is called Sneaker Talk after all. All right, so we are in the guest room again on the ironing board, and let's see how this turns out. Looks pretty good to me. Here's what it looks like on the left shoe. Time for the right. Feeling it around and 
looks pretty good. Here's what it looks like with both of the iron on patches on. Now these laces up and I'll show you guys the finished product. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Also as a thank you for you guys sticking around to the end of the video, I will be doing a giveaway for both of the shoelaces that came with these marble Chuck Taylor 2s. So if you want these shoelaces, comment down below which color you want. We have the black marble one here and then we have the 3M reflective ones here. So just comment which ones you want, black or 3M. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something. If you do plan to use these methods and iron on patches on any of your clothing or shoes, let me know in the comments down below what you're going to be doing it to. And on Instagram, if you take any photos with your items, hashtag sneaker talk CA so I can see them. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.